Hi, my name is Jamie Morris. I'm an instructor here in the Continuing Education Program at ACAD. I graduated from the school in 1997 in the, at the time, what was known as the Visual Communications Program. After I finished here, I went down to Kansas City, Missouri to complete my formal education at a place called the Illustration Academy, where I learned how to paint and become a professional illustrator. I moved back to Calgary and began my career here as a freelance illustrator and worked for a number of years and came back to the art college to become an instructor. I've been teaching in the visual communication design program since 2003. I teach first year students how to draw and second year students how to paint and be illustrators. In the evenings I teach in the continuing education program. I teach landscape painting one, landscape painting two, and portraiture. In my portraiture class, I teach that with some words to live by from a former instructor of mine who once told me that if you can't draw it, you're not going to be able to paint it. It's just another way of saying that when you're painting objectively, when you're trying to recreate the model that you're painting, you really have to understand the sculptural forms of your sitter and you're going to have to be able to understand creating a likeness being able to understand the spacing between eyes or the relationship in the, the size of a mouth um, to the, the rest of the face. So you really have to understand it um, from your pencil first before you move on to the paint. So when we begin that class, when we begin portraiture, we begin with a drawing and then a painting of the planar head. And planar head is a teaching tool that's been around for, for generations. And when I use that, the purpose is for the students to be able to understand the way light strikes the surfaces of a physical head um, before you actually get on to painting a real head where you have to see light on a more nuanced, rounded form. Understanding that more simply and derivatively gives you a step up in understanding before you head into actually painting a model. In the portrait painting class, the format begins with color mixing exercises that the students do. Um, the following week is me doing a painting demo, which the students can watch or paint along with me. Uh, next week's we paint together and we wrap it up uh, with a trial by fire where the uh, students actually paint from a live model for the next few weeks. So we bring models into the college who sit there for three hours and uh, give you a consistent pose that the students will paint from. Landscape Painting 1 is a, an introductory class where we begin with color mixing exercises. I teach the students how to paint from a primary triad of red, yellow, and blue uh, to mix every color that they need. Uh, the following week, I do a painting demo for the students from uh, a subject of my own, uh, my own photo. And uh, the students can follow along and take notes and uh, paint along if they want from their own, their own photo. Um, the following weeks are dedicated to the students working from their own photo, their own reference, and uh, I meet them where they are in their painting experience. Some of the students who come into the uh, landscape painting class are serious about getting their work into art galleries. Other students um, have rarely picked up a paintbrush in their life, so there's a really wide range of abilities in the class, and it's up to me to, to understand where the student is uh, in their experience and where they want to go, what they want to get out of the class. Landscape Painting 2 follows the same format as Landscape Painting 1, the only exception being that in the beginning of each class I introduce a new painting topic every week so the students will learn about uh, how certain historic and even modern painters and illustrators have handled value or handled composition or handled edge painting so it's from the sort of more essential uh, beginnings of putting an image together to the finer points of painting.